Louisiana Beer Reviews. We are looking at Hopping Nomad IPA Accession Ale, and this is 4.5%. IBUs undisclosed. Uh, it's for the true adventurer inside of us all. Where'd you grab this at? i give you a clue. This is made by State of Brewing in Wanakee, Wisconsin. Oh, Wayne. Not Wayne. Wanakee, Wisconsin, State of Brewing. It's the contractor for, oh. Aldi, for Aldi. Oh, it's the Aldi beer. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, crack this up and see what it's all about. Now this, refresh everyone's memory. Now, now this is a contract craft brewer, right? They do a lot of craft beers, but they only do contract for other people. So they craft, they do craft beer for uh, Trader Joe's, Trader Aldi. Joe's. Okay. There's some ones they sell at Dornax called um, Untitled Art. They do the Untitled Art beers. Mm -hmm. And for anybody else that wants to make a contract with them, if you look on their website, they're saying, uh, if you want us to make your beer, send us this form. You know, so hmm. they just do okay. it for whoever wants to make the deal. I've noticed with that contract beer, it's not too bad, and you get a really excellent price, too. Yeah, this was a... So I'll, I'll go and get mine over at Trader Joe's, and you can get a 12-pack for six ninety nine. Simple Toms for six ninety nine. This was seven ninety nine for the... Uh, or, you six, get, or you can get, like, the stuff that's a little better for the same price in the six-pack. Yeah, this was seven ninety nine for the six-pack. Okay. I might go get some more Simple Toms in this month, maybe next month. It's always a good time for simpler times, especially with that price. You can't beat it. Six ninety nine. They need to bring back the red label, back. the Pilsner. They need to bring back the Pilsner. Don't listen to him. Oh, you remember the You're Pilsner. doing a good job. All right. So this is slightly cloudy. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, paint. Uh, can't see through it. The light. No, you can't. It's orange. So, yeah, uh, I'd, I'd say it's more along with peach color. Okay. I suppose orange. Dead. Um, now most session IPAs are kind of thick, not mine. Agreed. And founders, the only one that we agree on is the Founders All Day IPA. I, I haven't tasted that weeded one that they put out. But no, I never saw it. Oh, it's out. <sighs> Smells it's out. pungent. It's Brainy. almost the same label. Maybe you didn't notice the colors are a little different in it. I heard about it, but I just never saw it. It's all over the place. Okay, not all over the place where I live. All right, cheers. Yeah, well, don't live in the country. Okay. It doesn't just taste like hop water. It has flavor. Kind of dropping off though. It gets midway on the palate and then it kind of drops off and it's leaving like this graininess on my tongue. It's hard to, at four and a half percent, it's hard to get it to where it's going to be super full flavored. But I thought that to me they did a good job with it. I'm not a session IPA person, okay? I just don't buy them. But I had to buy a six pack of this because it's the only way I could get it. Yeah, it leaves like a little. Seltzer on the on the tongue, like the sweet goes down, but then you just lop with this. It's it's almost like it's bubbling on my tongue, even after I drank it. It's carbonated, got a little mineral water flavor. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not liking it too much. Well, it says it's for adventurers. You might not be adventurous. It's uh, unfortunate. Uh, medium body, dry, you know, pretty crisp finish. I don't know. I'm thinking of 4.5% beers, you know, like Pabst Blue Ribbon and Bush Beer, which is a little lower than that. The old Natty Milwaukee Light. 4.2, yeah. The old Mick uh, Ultra. 4.2, yeah. The old Light. The old Milwaukee's best Bud premium. Light. Yeah. 4.3. Well, it definitely has more flavor than all those, but I'm not left with this. If I drink one of those, because I do venture outside of craft beers, if I drink one of those, it's 
you know, it's it's pretty good in its own right. It's like this is trying to be still trying to hold on a craft beer and we're gonna make ourselves like an ultra like maybe they maybe they went too low in the alcohol because founders all day is four point seven. It is? It is. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I like it, and I think it's a very well done session IPA, although I don't like session IPAs, so um, I wouldn't buy it because I don't like the style. But in the style, I think it's fine. If you want an IPA sort of like flavor, but it really just tastes like a mild ale, <laughs> you know, slightly bitter, obviously American, definitely not English ale. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be good. If you want something that's full of flavor and a good, strong, robust IPA, no, nah, it ain't going to work. Um, not I'm not is. feeling this one. I can't, I can't give it a favorable grade. Uh, if, if they're trying to make an IPA light, I guess they did it, but that whole, like, sells on my tongue. It's still there. It's like I got to drink another beer just to get it down. Hmm. Uh... I'm going to give this a C. Just a C. That's the way it goes. A yeah. 75. Okay. That's Ooh. like a regular C, 75. Uh, I, I thought it. All right. I'm going to go with uh, a B, like an 87. I like it, but I wouldn't buy it because I don't like the style. I just think session I don't IPAs like is a screwed it. up style. I don't like it, and I don't like the style. Yeah. So you got a double negative, which means a positive. So you actually like it. All right. No, but um, this is not math. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I every time I see session IPA, I think, Ugh, do I really even want to buy this? You know. But I bought it. But it's better than I expected, because I wasn't expecting much. Not enough alcohol. That's why it tastes like that. Yeah, it's just washed down, washed out. That's where they're designed to be. So anyway, if you want to drink this all day, go ahead. But you might want to get Founders all day IPA because that's an A. Yeah. Go 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 seek some adventure with this. Enjoy. All right, and we're gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Wanakee, Wisconsin, and tour the State of Brewing Brewery. Mm. Watch them make all the contract beers. <laughs>